Hagatnya, where we have Dr. Marilyn Salas standing by. Right, and this is part of our new weekly segment called The Greater Good. It is brought to you by your friends at Jay Goodman. It's a happiness company. Uh, you are in good hands with Jay Goodman. It, they sell quality products, best customer support, friendly service. You can order online 24 hours at guamgoodman.com. Yep. In-person pickup and Guam delivery free. Order with confidence. It's the Jay Goodman way. Yeah, and they kind of do this like it's it's almost like an old country store type of thing where they have a bunch of different cool items. Like one of the things I saw that they have. Oh, like like the, the old school, like the old timey trading post. Like the general, what do they call General them? stores. General stores, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so they've got like these cool little solar lights in there. Mm -hmm. um, they've got these bags here that are, that are pretty neat. So I just want to thank... Uh, Jay Goodman for jumping on to sponsor the Greater Good. And they are located in the Agania Shopping Center. They're open Monday to Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., then Sunday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Again, you are in good hands with Jay Goodman. All right. Nice. And, and what we do with this uh, segment that Jay Goodman is just so generous to sponsor is we kind of highlight people in the community who are doing things for the greater good. And anytime you want to recognize the awesome contributions of all the fathers on this island, I think you're doing a whole lot for the greater good. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Solis. Well, everybody, there are a lot of people that are working to make this Father's Day uh, very, very special. One of them I have a very uh, personal connection to because she helped raise me. Let's, let's be completely honest. Dr. Marilyn Solis is down in the capital right now at Chamor Village. Uh, good morning. Half a day, Auntie Mern. And how are you doing down there? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good morning, Auntie Mern. Good morning. Hey. How are you? Oh, uh, good. It's man, so good to see you. I miss you. Half a day. And you know, okay, for those for those of you listening right now, Dr. Marilyn Salas, you know, she is a a long time. Uh, she's an academic. She spent. Uh, the majority of her career studying uh, Micronesian culture and heritage. She came back to the island after getting her PhD in Arizona. Uh, came back here. She worked at the university. She's done a lot of things. She's an entrepreneur. She owns a shop down there uh, at Chamorro Village. And she sells bananas, which are really, really awesome, by the way. And like I said, probably her life's greatest challenge was helping to turn me into a positive, productive member of society. So she's doing great things right now. So, uh, Auntie Mern. I know you got some. Uh, yeah, good morning. You guys got some uh, cool things coming up for uh, Father's Day. Can you tell me all about Nihita Celebra Citata? Okay, I'm ready to tell you about that. We are Imet Cow, the farmer's market in Agatya. Mm -hmm. And every first week of the month, we bring, we invite the ornamental uh, people down and we set up plants, seeds, seedlings, produce. And so that's what we have today. But every day, Wednesdays, Fridays, 10 to 4, we're here. So our celebration of Tata is really to express the farmer's market, the market and how it relates to our Tatas. And so our theme is the Lentu. The Lentu. Mm -hmm. Already can you hear me well yeah absolutely yeah perfectly clear so, so auntie Mert, if people would like if, and you guys are doing something so that people can celebrate their father for father's day right so it's today and friday today and friday and uh we even have a kanzu contest nice so they can grind coconut and we have little gifts to give away but at the same time we're selling our produce we're selling our ornamental plants can you see that behind me yeah that, that and, looks lovely. Yeah. And then we dressed up in our bahaki or our farm clothes. So that's why I'm dressed like this. No, I was, I was, I was going to say, Auntie Myrna, I love that. I love that lanchera hat on you. You look lovely with that. Oh, Jason, I just want you to check, to know that this is Tata's real hat. Oh, Tata that, that was okay. That was, that was my grandfather's real hat that my auntie is now wearing. Oh, man, that, that touches my heart so much. This is Tata's, Tata's machete. I remember that. Yes. And th that's that's so, now that's now amazing, Auntie Mern, that you've got Tata's uh, machete because that was the one thing we could got not go anywhere near. <laughs> that was that was sacred yes. territory. Yeah. So you know, as I walk around, you're gonna see some other lan lanceros. Hey, buenas. This, okay. Good morning. This is Uncle Kelly. 
Kelly. Uncle Kelly. And this. Oh, and then. Uh, this good morning. Hop a day from KUAM. Hi, Jason. Dot Kerglas. Uh, good morning, Auntie Dot. How are you? Auntie Dot. Auntie Dot. This is how we're. Oh, I'm fine, fine. We have to wake up early and get our plants down here. Oh, very, very nice. So, so, so if, if people if people come in and, and visit you, uh, what can they expect to find? What can you expect to buy? Yeah. You can expect to buy plants, ornamental plants. You can buy really good, huge mangoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't show you, but we also have tools. Okay, yeah, fathers are really going to like that for fathers. Oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah, and these farm tools were made by the bladesmith, and this is the bladesmith, Paul Lohan. Say hi. Hi. Uh, good morning. Half a day. Buenas, Paul. Hello from KUAM. Good morning. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, Paul, what kind of, what kind of uh, blades blades have you made that people can find today? Those are uh, like uh, carbide, carbide steel. Okay, carbide. All right. Yeah. So, so that's, so th those are those are gonna last a very, very long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. gonna be able to give that to your grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, and then like, look at these. See these little knives? Oh yeah. Yeah, some of these are just for the deer, but this is like the old style machete. Yep. Yeah. It's everybody thinks of like the machete and they think it's like this long blade. No, in, in Chamorro style, because it wouldn't be just to cut grass or, you know, to cut down the Sakati anti it would be used to like, you know, to crack the coconut open with a dull edge. And there's a lot of stuff you yeah. can use the Chamorro machete for. And then can you guess on this one? Um, I think I saw that in Mortal Kombat, but um, that's. <laughs> this one is for taking out the coconut from the coconut shell. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've actually got some people in my neighborhood. They they come up they come up there to like my neighborhood up in Jigo, and you know like they're they're neighbors of mine that are very very generous, and they say yeah if you want to use them go for it. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. okay. So Paul is also a hunter, so and he's um, got some of the banado right there. Yeah. Yes, in season he hunt he hunted these and got them, so we had venison, right? So. We are displaying. Yeah, Auntie Myrna, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a picture of you and you and Bambi right there. So once we're done with this interview. <laughs> okay. What later? Yeah. Okay. And then this came from um, our ranch. Ooh. Namai. And then from Jigo Ranch, bananas. These are other farmers things. We even have okra apples and if you can see them mm -hmm. they are purchasing already so we invite everyone to come down and join us yeah so so auntie Mern, you know everybody's you know um we as guamanians you know everybody did what we have to do over the last year and everyone had to stay inside and you know um we weren't able to probably eat you know really really true fresh produce that our farmers have you know have grown and harvested and everything like that so what is it going to be if you you're able to give um you're, you're a family and you give your dad for father's day some real authentic guam fresh produce can you ask me that question again because i didn't catch the first part okay sure certainly yeah what is it going to mean uh for people that go down there and then buy some authentic guam fresh produce and they give it to their favorite father for father's day oh you know what we they can do it we have everything from fruits and vegetables that are local, fresh, and affordable. Mm -hmm. Affordable is the key word, okay? Yeah, I wanted to say what what about what about the price? What are you like? Hi, good morning. Oh. What are, what about the what? Yeah, so what about the pricing? What um how, what are we looking at as far as because you said affordability is a big thing, so right. You know our bananas, everybody loves manila bananas. And so manila bananas are selling for half the price that you probably get it in other places. Wow. And so, yeah, but you know what? We are here for the community. So we uh, keep our prices at the place where the common person can buy it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and we also put out healthy things. We even make, uh, we bring out medicine plants so you can buy that. Things like 
um, um, let me see. Also like for like mango tradi traditional or, healers and. Yes, mango or ginger is a good one. Okay. So we have that on our table. Yeah, and, and we Myrna, have star. Auntie Myrna, is there any sour sap down there? There is. Okay, and, and every, everybody sour. says like sour, sour, you know, with all, with all respect to the Asahi, everybody says sour sap is like the miracle fruit. Yes, and you know what else? Miracle things are here. Uh, to me, ginger. Yeah, miracles ginger. are happening every day at Chamorro Village. And then this is Uncle Ancito's favorite, the red apple. Okay, and I don't yeah. know the name. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's... So we can have... So for those of you who are listening right now, so my, my auntie, Dr. Marilyn Salas, married uh, Dr. Encita Walter, the former uh, former governor of Chuk State, and they actually mm -hmm. operate a farm right now. So you can find some of uh, her bananas along with all the other produce from all the other farmers who are happy to be down there today. Uh, it goes today and Friday from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Eight. Oh, someone's bashful. <laughs> yes, this is my partner in crime. <laughs> no. Uh, Hello, good morning. Oh, can I can I get a look at your mask? That's nice. Morning. Good morning. Half a day. Half a day. <laughs> so and, you know, Auntie, it's a peppermint. Yeah. Auntie, it's a, so, Auntie Mern, how's the uh, how's the crowd down there so far? I know you guys so open it. You guys open in about nineteen minutes, but are there people already lining up? Yeah, no, people are not lining up yet. They'll come by 10 or they'll even come near lunchtime because not only will I promote our Met Cow in the Chamorro Village, but I want to promote the whole Chamorro Village. Exactly. Because people come to eat at the restaurants. There's um, um, there's all kinds here. And Asian food, Chamorro food, Jamaican food. And then we have then, uh, other merchants that are selling arts and crafts. So we connect and reconnect to all our other merchants in the area. Uh, Auntie Martin, I got, I got a question real fast. Somebody's watching right now on Facebook and they're saying exactly where in uh, Chamorro Village are you located? You're like in the main pavilion, okay. right? So you come near the Fisherman's Co-op Road. Mm -hmm. That's the road in. And then we are opposite the Fisherman's Co-op. Hey, good morning. Hey, there's my Nina. Good morning. Talk to your Nina a little bit. Yeah, okay, no, that's, no. that's doc, Dr. Arlene Diaz, my, my beloved godmother. What? Oh, Jason. Go ahead. Hi, Jason. Good morning. Well, the good news is I just put it on the table. And my 20 bags of cotton just sold. Somebody's going to make himself a pillow. Okay. So. And you know, you know what? There, there are a lot of people from, uh, let, let's just say, uh, like older generations of Academy grads that are watching you right now. And I know they're saying this on Facebook. And they're like, man, I used to play tennis with Arlene and Marilyn way back at the Agania <laughs> course. Yes. Ar Arn still plays tennis. And uh, your Nina still plays tennis. I and know. I she's just... very successful. And I'm better at swinging the machete now. Her weapon of choice is the machete. Her weapon of choice is still the racket. Hers is the machete and the push cutter. Well, well, <laughs> Nina, uh, get, well let me ask you, like, Nina, are you just helping uh, Auntie Mart or I'm sorry, Auntie Mern, or are you? Um, no, do you have your own? Uh, no. booth? I'm selling some uh, some of my seeds that I grew. So I'm selling Chinese broccoli seedlings, and I have. Um, um, the fortune plant seedlings. Oh, can I, I can like, I get a look at your booth? I like green. Can I oh, get a look at your booth? Tiny. Yeah, let's go check out your booth. Zoom in on, zoom in on. We we'd like to see Jason out in the farm at the, the, the ranch one uh, of these days. This is a spinach. Ask Janina, oh, I don't she can know. take you, Jason. Yeah, yeah. And then this is Chinese gailan. Can you okay. see that? Oh, I can't see that. And then this is fortune plant. I like taking the baby seedlings and growing them. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have oh, uh, oh we have Kathy's Kathy's local lemons. You can do seedlings and point down to the cotton. And there's a cotton that just sold out. Oh wow! From the backyard. Somebody bought and all of that already. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Just a so bag. business is booming, man. I love to see that. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to Chamorro Village. Okay, okay. Jay. And then. Jay? Yes, ma'am. So we even have a coconut theme because coconut is so special. So here's coconuts, coconut shells, and coconut husk. Yeah, and you, you said there's, so, a, there's a there's a kumzu exhibit or is it a competition or demonstration or? There's a 
and then we'll have it at 11 30. Okay. So three comes and three competitors and then we will do this again uh another time today and then on friday we'll do it twice so if anybody wants to come join our come zoo competition please come mm. it's um this is a mini market right now but we hope to expand as we want to in the tomorrow village to this set up so all farmers come this way and over to this one uh house also yeah so jason said he wants to come out and and take part in the competition i want to come down there and help us the coconut <laughs> Okay, Jason can come down. Yeah, and then it's a good. It's a good thing you're open until four o'clock because it's probably going to take me from eleven thirty to four oh, to finish one token. Oh, look at that. Okay. We're Thank you. Okay, that, that's all for me, right, Nina? <laughs> okay. That's, that's okay, all well, we have well, from here. Yeah, Auntie Mern, Before I let you go, um, because uh, you know, my coworker Chris Barnett was saying earlier, it, do you have any indication on when the night market is going to return to uh, Chamorro Village? <laughs> You know, I know they're, they're thinking it through, but they have to take time. And I, I even right. mentioned, just open up in the day for now, because in the evening, it takes power. Okay. It takes uh, much more electric, uh, water, electricity. Those are expensive. So in the day, you know, it might work better because we don't need too much of the power. But can I just um, introduce you to your uncle again, Absolutely. Jay Lawrence? Are Hi. you? Uh, buenas, good morning. Hop okay, well, lo long distance, Amen. No, no. Just so busy. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Half a day from KUAM. Good morning. You, you know, the, 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 the things that we have over here, I think I'm, I'm, uh, I stick out like a sore thumb because I'm selling my, my bonsai trees. I have, you know, like my miniature bonsais. Oh, those are beautiful. Uh, can, can, I get, can I get a look at uh, uh, what you're offering? Sure. They're, they're gorgeous. I love bonsai trees. Okay. Well, let me show you. This one here is a variegated ficus. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, variegated ficus. And then this one here is a willow ficus. And the variegated ficus is 10 years old. And this one here, these are, this this one here are all 10 year old uh, uh, ficus, uh, uh, bonsai trees. Okay, you, you see those? Yeah, are you yeah. able to see them? Well, well, you know my coworker Sabrina, right? Sabrina Salas Matanani is asking uh, how much how much are those, and can she reserve one for herself? Uh, well, the the uh, say hi to Sabrina. She she's also my niece. Oh, I just live down the street from her grandma. Oh, okay, in over in Agate. Okay, let me let me bring her. Let me turn. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me turn on her camera right now. We'll bring her in. Hi, hi. how are you? There yeah. she is. Well, well the, the, these ones over here are in the hundred dollar range, mm -hmm. but but that's at like our Metcalf price. But you know, in the usual market price, they don't cost that far. But I'm, I'm just letting you go for a hundred. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that I have over here, these are the uh, twenty five to fifty dollar range ones. But these ones are like five year old uh, pikes, and I have starters. I, you know, like if someone's interested in doing um, a starter or interested in doing bonsai, I, I'll give them starter plants so that they can work at it. And then, they, you know, they can develop their own style of uh, of their tree and their plant. Mm -hmm. You said five so years I, old. Is that, is that pretty much how big they grow? If you're interested, I can start you off with one so that you can at least learn how to get, get the feel of it. Mm -hmm. And and then, uh, quite frankly, it's very relaxing. It, and it's it's just so uh, uh, it's it's not really time consuming, low maintenance, and everything. Just make sure it's watered and fed, and they love and a lot of sunshine, and that's about it. Well, they're so, they're really pretty. I yeah, think I, I had I, a ficus I, I, before, I, but I, I Uncle, what kind of music do they like? Pardon? What kind of music do they like? Yeah, that's Chris Malafonte, oh. Uncle. I, they, they love any kind of music. Sometimes I do classical. Sometimes oh. I sing them better songs. Wow. <laughs> see, okay. see, those are, those are classy plants, man. They're in, they're into the classics. Right on. Yes. Well, um, uh, Sabrina, you're interested. You, you know, you know where I live. Just come by the house, and then I'll just introduce you to some of the plants that I have. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we'll come down. Well, you know, if you have chance like today or Friday. Uh, come on down because I'm going to do some demonstration here uh, later on today. Okay, okay, okay Uncle. Nice. Sounds good. 10, 10 to Thank 4 you. PM.
Yeah, this is going on today and Friday. Wednesday and Friday. Right. And you know what? I have one of the plants, so it's growing in my home, and it's so beautiful. So I would suggest to you who like to keep uh, have a bonsai plant, get it from Jay Lawrence, because he even went to workshops in Hawaii just to learn how to do it. And and some of those plants are 10 years old or more. Mm -hmm. Now, I have one more, Jason. Sure. Uncle Kelly. Hey. Uncle Kelly is doing Hey, uh, good morning, Uncle Kelly. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, good morning. Good to see you. Yeah, what, what have you what have you got for us this morning? Because I know you. We don't want to keep you guys too long, but I know you guys open in nine minutes, so we want to see like a little bit of your store, though, yeah. if you don't mind. Well, you know, what I started out is, uh, you know, I, I started out with just being the labor, you know, to help out with the logistics and all that. Then mm -hmm. um, I got hooked up with uh, uh, growing uh, vegetables, and I, she said the only time you can come in here and bring your plants is got to be organic. Nothing mm -hmm. of this uh, chemicals you're gonna put in. So here's what we started. I started this and it started, you know, a hot pepper, and uh, it, it, it going good. And then I, I, I started with the uh, what was that? Um, tomatoes. But this is not the local tomatoes. This is the one that's uh, you know a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. uh, round and all that. So something uh, a little bit different that I'm gonna, I'm doing. It's a strange thing for me to be doing this, but uh, you know. With my cousin here, Marilyn, she just kind of get me to get up and go and let's do it. Yeah, Uncle Kelly, I was going to say, Chris, uh, Chris Barnett's right here. So he is like the uh, the <laughs> judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to hot pepper. So Right, right, right. He's All probably right. going to head down and, uh, and check out your stuff. What kind of donut you All got right, there, Kelly? Yeah. In the, future, we're gonna have, in the future, we're going to have tasting of peppers. Wow. So maybe he would like to uh, try out for that. Me and Jason <laughs> will compete. Yeah, and, and tomorrow, what kind of donut is that? Uh, that's the local dunny, right? Yeah. The local Guam dunny. So it's Sali, dunny Sali, okay? Oh, nice. yeah. And then, you know, we're very happy to have in our midst the children of Guam. And some of them are here helping and learning. And so I just show you their pictures, okay? So say hi, Claire. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She's sitting next to her pet Venado. <laughs> hey, good morning, man. Half a day. This is CQ. And look at him. He's helping Uncle Paul. Very nice. Are you having fun down there? Okay. Can can you tell people to come down to Tomorrow Village? Come down. Come down. Come down. Yeah, come to Chamorro See, Village, right? Come to Chamorro Village and have fun with us because Kelly brought his uh, boombox. Oh, so we're going nice. to have Tata music. Tata music, Tata food. We have spam. Mm. And we want to share our gojeria and our other finite mammoths or sweets, okay? Mm. So okay, well, yeah, Auntie, Auntie Martin, I got to let you go because I know you guys got about mm -hmm. seven minutes until you're until, um, uh, the. It, the event opens e Metcal down at Chamor Village. Uh, okay, it's beautiful down there. Thank you for sharing so much with us. You guys are there from 10 to 4 today and Friday. Thank you, Jason, my nephew. Love you, okay? All right, love you too, Auntie Mern. Okay, bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye, Nina. <laughs> bye, everybody. Biba. Biba. Biba Chamor Village. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, awesome. That's good. that's good people doing it. And, you know, you can just see from the smiles on the faces yes. of the people involved with it. They're just so happy to be back out there. Right on. And, again, that was uh, our brand-new segment, The Greater Good, where we are featuring different events, uh, people in the community that are just doing great things right on. for Guam. I almost cried. <laughs> I almost, because, like, you know, Chris, you, you stepped out for a sec, but I said, you know, like I was telling my Auntie Marilyn, I was like, Auntie Marilyn, that's a beautiful like lanchero hat. She goes, "This is actually your grandfather's." Oh wow! So she had my grandfather's lanchero hat and his machete, which I was at. We could not go anywhere near my cousins and I. There were mm -hmm. there were two things really sacred with my grandfather: his chickens and his machete. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and the greater good was brought to you by Jay Goodman, located in the Agani Shopping Center, open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. You are in good hands with Jay Goodman. Right on, you sure are. Man, I got the feels after that segment. <laughs> That was cool how they, yeah. they had the bonsai trees. Mm -hmm. They had everything down there. Yeah. 
Uh, so, what you, so bit by bit, things are starting to What open. did he say, Jay? What kind of music they listen to? Uh, they said like a little bit of classical or, you know, like even some more contemporary stuff. Right. Because if you play Tremor music, they're going to grow tall. Yep. <laughs> have you have you guys ever tried to uh, to care for a bonsai tree? No, not really. I wanted to after I saw Karate Kid. Like, I know. Like everybody, yeah. but, you know, it went horribly <laughs> I was wrong. just waiting for you to bring up Karate Kid. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Bevtest J. Solis uh, commented in here, um, whatever happened to your tomato challenge? Oh, I actually have some tomatoes. 